We are heading to Point Nepean National Park and we make a short stop in Portsea. Portsea is a small village on the tip of the peninsula, famous for its expensive exuberant houses. The cafe we chose to drop into is right along the way of the National Park and it has reasonable prices. So it looks like we're lucky with the weather, so we will have a short break and we'll go to the Pont Nipia National Park. I'm there and I'm on the here, yes, thank you, beautiful, thank you. Prisant, Basque Prisant. Croissant. Croissant. What do you have, Victoria? Croissant. <laughs> Prison? I think this place is famous for its uh, French uh, croissants mm -hmm. and French, uh, I think uh, the owner is from France, that's why. And it's, it's it, I guess it's popular. Yeah. I guess mm. it's popular. Bon appétit! Merci! <laughs> <laughs> We heard Portsea is the hub for scuba divers and we noticed a lot of scuba divers getting changed in the car park and diving off the pier. Two big V8 engines, 700 horsepower up and it's pretty powerful. The Portsea front beach is small. National Park and it's a 40 minutes walk to the tip of the peninsula. We park near the Gunners Cottage. You can't park your car any further along the track. From this point it's 2.8 kilometers to the tip of the peninsula. The start of the track isn't very exciting. We are half away or not? Yeah, not really. We've only got 900 metres. Still another 1.9 to go. Oh, let's go. What can we do? If you're lucky, you will see native animals such as wallabies, echidnas, or even bandicoots. We were lucky to see an echidna. They don't come out very often. Catch a shuttle bus if you don't want to walk the track and it will cost you $12. Let's have a look. What we're going to show you now is the Harold Holt Memorial. Harold Holt was an Australian Prime Minister from 1966 until his disappearance in 1967. Holt knew the area well and had swum there many times before. Back in 1967, Australia lost his 17th Prime Minister, Harold Holt. He was out diving off this beach here and he was never found again. Holt is remembered more for the circumstances of his death than for his political achievements. There used to be a military base at the tip of the peninsula. What is it? I don't know. Maybe it's some kind of 
a raider. Port Nepean protected Melbourne in the First and Second World War. There are many lookout points with beautiful views in the park. And there are lots of photo opportunities. We are now at the narrowest part of the peninsula. On one side of the road we have the rough waters of Bass Strait and on the other side of the road we have the calm waters of Port Phillip Bay. These are the helmets that they used to wear back when they oh, right, yeah. stayed in the forts. Quarantine station was established in 1852 to quarantine early immigrants to Australia from England who were infected with diseases. The quarantine station became even more important in 1919 because of the Spanish flu pandemic. The army was billeted here during World War II and the station became the officer cadet school between 1852 and 1985. There are approximately 50 heritage listed buildings and the shepherd's hut is the oldest. If you like our video today, give us the thumbs up and subscribe. Cheers! <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.